Okay, today I'm going to show you how to scald milk using a bottle warmer. Um, and this is uh, in order to inactivate the lipase enzyme, um, which some women find that they have high lipase and it can cause milk to taste soapy after a little while, um, either in the refrigerator or the freezer. Um, so for this, all we need is a bottle warmer um, which this is a munchkin bottle warmer. You need some water in the reservoir, not a ton. Um, I just have it filled up to there. You're gonna need a thermometer, like a digital thermometer uh, for candy or meat. Um, and then an aluminum cup or bottle. It's important that it is not insulated. Uh, if you try it with an insulated one, it is not going to scald. You also don't wanna use glass um, or plastic. The plastic gets a little bit too hot and the glass uh, would shatter because the final thing that you're gonna do is put it into an ice bath. So you can see I've got a little bit of ice in there. It's mostly melted, but it's very cold water. Um, so we're gonna get started here. First, I'm gonna just put my cup into my bottle warmer. This is a Munchkin bottle warmer. I like this one because it can be turned on for um, up to nine and a half minutes and it does not have a temperature um, like auto shut off. So, uh, which we need because it needs to get pretty hot. So we're gonna go ahead and pour our milk in here um, and get our digital thermometer in. Um, and this milk is uh, pretty recently pumped. I just pumped it probably like 15 minutes ago. And then we're just gonna go ahead and turn it on and hit start. Um, so we want the temperature to get up to 165 and we're gonna hold it there for 15 seconds. The other option you have is to get it up to 180 and then um, hold it for one second before cooling. But in, in this particular one, I'm gonna just do 165 and hold for 15 seconds. That's how I normally do it. So um, we will just wait. I will say that um, depending on how much milk you have and how recently it was pumped, whether it was in the fridge or not, um, you're gonna have different amounts of time that you need to put this on. So I just had about four or five ounces pumped there and um, I put it on about four and a half minutes. That's gonna be more than enough. So we do need to keep an eye on the temperature because it's gonna reach temperature before the timer's gonna run out. Um, so we will just wait. It's probably gonna take a couple minutes and we'll come back here in a minute. While we're waiting here, I do recommend just stirring it occasionally um, so that you're getting a good reading on that thermometer. Uh, the aluminum should not get any hotter than the milk is getting, so it's not um, necessary for you to like lift it up for an accurate reading. It should be the same temperature, um, but just stirring that milk occasionally is going to keep it from sticking to the sides, um, separating, and it's also going to uh, keep it heating accurately and thoroughly. Okay, so we are almost at 165. Um, so we've got about a minute and a half left on here. So once we get to that 165, um, which there it is, okay, we're at 126. So when we went, get down to, um, let's see, 111, uh, I guess, that'll be when we wanna take it off. So that'll be 15 seconds. So, all right, and I'm gonna turn that off lift this up I don't want it to get above 180 so generally it doesn't but just in case um, you had a situation where it was getting too hot um, you would want to take it off before that temperature reaches 180 there and I'm just gonna dunk this in my ice bath and you're gonna see it's cooling rapidly again you want to stir it occasionally and that's gonna keep it from separating um, on the sides because otherwise it'll kind of get up on the sides and it's harder to um, remix and then once it gets down uh, below like a hundred degrees you can then bag it safely and put it in the freezer I generally wait until it's about 80 or 90 degrees um, before I bag it but that's it so now the lipase has been um, completely inactivated or inactivated enough that you should be able to keep your milk for about six months so I hope this helped. Um, uh, I know that this has been a struggle for me and uh, my daughter, so finding this out was really helpful. So I hope this helps somebody else too.